Hello everybody and welcome to section 5.3. This is about indirect proof. Um, indirect reasoning, let's first define that. Indirect reasoning is when you assume that the conclusion is false and then show that this assumption leads to a contradiction of the hypothesis or some other accepted fact, such as a definition, postulate, theorem, or corollary. All right, so this indirect reasoning, it's all about if we're trying to prove something, we're going to prove it first start out by thinking that it's false and then showing that when it's false it's wrong, therefore the original is going to be right. So that's what we get when we get indirect proof. Proof by contradiction as it's also known. Since all other steps in the proof are logically correct, the assumption has been proven false, so the original conclusion must be true. So that's kind of plays into the in indirect reasoning aspect. Steps for finding, um, in writing proofs indirectly. Uh, step one, assume the conclusion is false. So if, if there's a statement, you need to say the opposite of that. And show that this assumption leads to a contradiction of the hypothesis or some other fact, such as a definition, postulate, theorem, or corollary. And then finally, we'll point out that because the false conclusion leads to the incorrect statement, the original conclusion must be true. So again, it's you're asked to prove something. You'll start out by assuming it's false go through steps that show that it is in fact false and once you establish that the original hypothesis must be true.